Okay, so uh, getting the evap removed is because this thing is gunk. I mean, if you were to ask me from experience, all the stalling, all those minor stalling, the cutting off um, abruptly, if it's not the relays, it's this. This thing has, has gone for a toss and it's causing all sorts of issues. The best thing to do is to delete it. I've made a dedicated video on how to delete it. So you can watch that video. I will attach that link uh, in this video for you guys to go and check out and go step by step. But the best thing to do is delete this fella. And what you need to be doing is you need to be plugging this cable that comes from the throttle body. Plug it up with a nice five millimeter bolt or something. And then this fella, this fella that comes from the tank, let it fall directly onto the ground. Let it be just like the overflow drain hose on the tank. Let this also be just like a, a, a cable, a cable, uh, pull it out completely. We are going to be rerouting it. Anga pull panada. Anga pull panada, anga pull panada. Mathar, where everybody other pull panning under mudima par. Anga, anga very low under kudada. It shouldn't come out. Okay, so um, yeah, now we're going to be rerouting this cable and getting it from the chassis and maybe kind of, you know, just like me. I have it plugged. Uh, where is it? Where is my evap? That's the clutch. There you go. This is my evap cable. So if you guys can see, I've plugged it with a five millimeter bolt. That's exactly what we're going to do with our own cable as well. And all good. And the rest of it is just going to be uh, a done and dusted deal. That is, this fellow is going to be running from the tank straight to the ground, acting more like an overflow drain hose. That's about it. And so a pretty straightforward job. And that should put an end to all the initial hiccups. If you were to ask me, what is the biggest problem? Uh, in layman terms, what is it that you feel when you have an EVAP that is uh, clogged and is starting to uh, cause trouble? We uh, call it hiccups. So all the initial hiccups, all the uh, confusions that you have in lower throttle operations, uh, cruising and then shutting off your throttle and the bike stalling and quitting on you, all attributed to this fellow uh, getting gunged up and not working like how it is supposed to work. So that's how it is. Uh, one video that I've already made should explain things for you in detail. Go watch that and uh, yeah, that's another mod for the day. So that's the bash plate and the entire system removed from it. Uh, uh, what a second, eh? uh, now, the only disadvantage to shoving this back in without this canister is the fact that when a rock hits the aluminium bash plate now, it's going to leave a larger dent compared to with the canisters because this also acts like a, a kind of a, a shockproof system. So now, without the canister, there's going to be a certain gap between the bash plate and the engine. And this is too thin a bash plate uh, for it to not get warped. So the only downside to m taking away this is that if a rock were to hit it, it's definitely going to leave a dent. But the advantage is you're looking at about 300 grams, 400 grams of weight reduction. And this feels as light as it can get. So that's one tiny bit where you can reduce some weight. Okay. So... That is the drain from the tank, which earlier ran into the EVAP canister. You guys can see over there. So now it's just a free fall from the tank to the ground. And that is how these cables have been routed. So if you can see, there you go. That's the EVAP cable. Uh, so whatever vapor the tank uh, gathers is going to be getting drained out of this cable usually happens on hot summer days. You will not, no, not even notice it. And this is the overflow drain, that is fuel overflow drain. So they both are acting like overflow drain hoses. And the, the hose that comes out of the throttle cable, which is this one, if you guys can see, this is the hose that comes out of the throttle cable, has been routed like this, holding onto the chassis, comes up to the front and plugged. Comes up to the front and plugged. As simple as that, easy to, evap, uh, to delete the evap system. Uh, a piece of cake, this is definitely different on the 2022-2021 models is because uh, the evap uh, canister has been positioned somewhere over here. I am yet to figure that out. If somebody were to come to me, 
uh, asking for me uh, asking to delete their eweb system then i'll be able to figure it out we'll make a video but this is until the 20 uh, tw this is 2019 is it 2020 early models the himalayan model uh, which is very similar to the bs4 model where the web canister sits here on the bash plate job done and dusted and now we are going to be throwing uh, in the tank on the chassis and calling it quits for the day that's about it guys we'll see you guys on another one if you like the video do hit the like button share and subscribe and keep in touch we'll we are still building the motorcycle there's a lot more that needs to be done and uh, to see a happy face on <laughs> that one <laughs> So, yep, we'll see you soon. Take care. Signing out for now. Ben.